every day here at Coastal Sheerness on the Isle of Sheppey in Kent, some two and a half thousand tons of ferrous scrap metal are loaded into one end of the plant. And comes out the other end as quality steel product for use in construction and engineering worldwide. This is the country's largest recycling operation. And Coastal has become Kent's first investor in people. But they were changing the culture of this organisation before the investor in people standard was invented. Why? We had to do something because we lost a lot of money. And the only way we thought we could turn the company around was by investing in people. We looked at the Japanese and the Germans who'd had a very efficient record behind themselves. We found that they invested heavily in people. They got very substantial gains in labour productivity, attendance records, safety records by doing that. We followed them. How long has it taken? taken us ages. We started in 1984 and we're still working at it. Any major cultural change program is a long-term program in itself. What does a company have to do to be an investor in people? You have to convince everybody in the company to participate in ongoing education and training programs. That's difficult, but we've managed to do it here. We have employees at every level in the organisation studying every day of the week. 70 to 80% of our employees already hold a national vocational qualification. We aim to be the best educated workforce in the world and I think we're probably there. All this training must be costing a fortune. Is it worth it? It certainly does cost money investing in people but right now our labour productivity is about the highest in Europe and our attendance record is excellent, our safety is second to none so we are getting a major payback. When Peter Mansfield left the Navy and joined Coast Steel he had no qualifications. What's joining this company meant for you? Well, I joined the company as a mail truck helper, then the company encouraged me to go on. I became a crane driver, then I became a, a furnaceman, and now I'm on a management course, and hopefully one day I'll become a manager of Coastal.